Okay, folks. Uh, Mama Fauzi, I'm back again with another. Uh, well, uh, one one of my students uh, uh, asked me to teach uh, this song called uh, uh, "Let Her Go" by uh, Passenger. There's a guy called Passenger. I heard his name was Mike Rosenberg. His uh, song was uh, he, he he was mainly a busker before he. He recorded the song and then became a multi millionaire. Ah, uh, whatever lah. I mean, the stories. Okay, the thing is that they they having trouble trying to get the the uh, the, the riff. Okay, the riff. Because um, Mike Rosenberg, he's he's more of a plucker. He he likes to uh, uh, pluck in and sing. Okay, and. Uh, to do that, I, I think I got to change into a, a classical guitar. And they want to know the uh, the uh, intro riff. Okay, the intro riff. Uh, you don't don't. Uh, I I I think I don't want to teach like. Uh, okay, you put your finger on. Zero one. Uh, okay, on the uh, E A D G B E uh, E A D G B on the third string. Basically, he, what he does is that he gets all his uh, his riffs out from chords. Okay, just just playing uh, plucking. Plucking is basically when you're plucking, you can pluck on the. You only stick to a few chords like G, G minor, A minor. So here he starts with a F, okay? But he plays a F major seven. In other words, F is like this. F major seven is with the that, that string open. And most of my new students, I teach F major seven to substitute for F because they find it difficult to play F this way, or even this way, or, or so. Start with the F major seven, and this finger, this little pinky, try to get it to do to do this, eh? Go on the on this uh, on this string, okay? Can you see? When when you are playing, okay. When you are playing this with that finger down, is this is the D minor, okay? Which many of you are familiar with. And of course, this is major seven. And when you put this, I don't know what chord it is, but then that's where you get the, uh, he gets his uh, riff. Huh? Twice with this, eh? And then and I, I noticed that he'll be using the same riff throughout the song when he sings the, the entire song, okay? Basically, it's it's the same chord now. Okay. Yeah. How about how the song goes? Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, you only need the light burn low. Only miss the sun when you touch the snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. Only know you've been high when you feel low. Only miss the uh, road when you're missing home. Only know you love her when you let her go. You let her go. You let her go. Something like that. Actually, his song originally was planned to play plucking style like this, eh? which he did on the roadside. He, he was a busker, 
uh, he, he wrote this song when he was uh, down and out and he didn't have any money. Uh, he was broke like like me. <laughs> so he he was busting this song by the roadside. Nobody listened to him. And then uh, uh, so, uh, and then he he performed it at uh, some YouTube. Uh, what was it? Somebody was interviewing him, and then he played the song uh, on a YouTube program, and I think it hit like, oh, uh, what was it? At that time, it was Spotify. What he hit uh, a million hits. People like the song so much. So um, uh, after that, only they they, they brought in all the uh, the accompaniment music and the violins and the keyboards and all that. And I I still prefer. Him playing the song with just a simple guitar and his voice, and he's got that voice. He and Ed Sheeran, I think, got got some gifted voice that people. Uh, it's a uh, emotional. I would say emotional. Cause, but I guess he said that actually he went through a breakup with his girlfriend when he wrote his song, so uh, I guess it reflects his mood and his um, sadness. Right? So, uh, okay, how does the song go? Eh? Okay, uh, starting in the bottom of the cloud, hoping one day One day you'll understand everything you do. Basically, are uh, simple. A minor, F G, E minor, A minor, F G is basically uh, when you are playing uh, when you are playing uh, classical. Uh, when you are playing uh, on a classical guitar, that's what that's what the common chord. But the main thing is to remember uh, the riff, the riff. This the riff. Distinct, the distinct part of the riff. Songs normally I, I I just it's not my repertoire of songs. So uh, when they when they want to know what the riff, uh, I just basically show them where you can find the riff from. And of course, when you're playing the exact key that he's playing, uh, you put your capo on the uh, seventh fret and you play exactly the, the same chord. Okay, even the song. I'm trying to find my capo here. Uh, I think it's somewhere around here. Kalang kabur. Okay, never mind. I'll just give an, an, another lesson later on when I find all. Oh, okay, I go go on a pause mode for a while. So that I can. Okay, <laughs> I am back with the capo. I had to pick it up from. Uh, ah, 
Anyway, advertising. This is the keyboard that I'm selling. It's a, it, it's actually a techno brand. Oh, you don't see the prices, eh? And uh, that's it. We got various colors: uh, blue, red, green, blue, all of it. Uh, all colors. Uh, so, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, it's not Ed Sheeran. It's uh, Mark Mike Rosenberg. Uh, he uses he uses uh, he puts the cable on the seventh fret. Oh my God! Nobody puts the cable that high. <sighs> okay, whatever. Either you can go with F or F major or F. Okay. So, but um, uh, yeah. And then the the when he starts a song, okay, you can strum. Good design. Uh, even when I watch him playing, he doesn't try. He plays, he plucks all the way. Okay, the plucking, as you know, the plucking, there's no fixed rule. I, I normally would play, if, if I'm playing C, I play. Okay, I play. Okay, if I, okay, start out with the F. Huh? Okay, F. I use this F. Okay, this F. There's another F here, but with which keep because. I, I cannot uh, cannot use this big app because if I use I I, I need a finger to be on the first fret and it's difficult. You, you just need it to point it down to the first fret. Uh, but you can you can you can do uh, you can you can get the, the by using the thumb. Okay. Okay, but uh, you don't even need the. You can use this bass. This bass is the same. Uh, this this app bass. Normally, when you go one, two, three down and one, two, three left, you get the same chord for all, all okay, for all the notes. Huh? You see, F is here. Yeah, but this is not really F. Huh? The F is actually there. <laughs> it's there, there, there. But because we, when we put the capo on, we will call these chords the 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 original chords. Okay, okay. Um, we will call this F. We won't call this. Uh, we won't call this C <laughs> because uh, we are we are playing the the chords that we normally play on the first uh, three frets. Huh? Okay, you know about that, right? Okay, have to practice this for uh, I, 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 I I should take actually time to practice to get it I, I mean to get used to it but uh, I, I these are not my repertoire so I'll just teach uh, y'all and then uh, those normally my students if they are playing this song over and over again uh, they will they will get it uh, right because they'll be playing they, they should be they should be better than me in fact students studying in school should be eventually better than their teachers, okay? The teachers normally don't um, ex don't want to be better than them or don't want to be performing because we are just teaching, we are just doing our part. Okay, I think uh, that's basically it uh, as far as the song goes. And uh, uh, I think I, I, I showed you, basically my style is teaching you the easy way don't take so much time to show you an exact notes where to point where you know it will take you about two months to learn the song when you can uh, just learn it through uh, uh, by playing and uh, not too stressfully just uh, 
you just enjoy it. Okay, so this is uh, Muhammad Fauzi uh, saying bye and to my face for a while. Okay, that's it. Bye for now.